everybody how you doing ladies it is your girl your diva in knowledge lady mocha represent mocha's ladies lounge appreciate everybody who has been who has recently subscribed i've been getting a lot of notifications that a lot of you have recently subscribed so i welcome y'all to mocha's ladies lounge i appreciate it um thank you for the support like I said, I know uh, a lot of people aren't going to always 100% agree with everything that I say, and that is fine. As long as we can respectfully disagree, that is all that matters. So, nevertheless, y'all know I've been on my Jezebel, I've been doing my Jezebel series, um, and a lot of it is in reference to um, women who choose to partake in immoral sexual behavior. And, um, you know, I understand everybody have different... Uh, perspectives or they have their own um viewpoints as far as to what a jezebel is whether you perceive the jezebel as a person or a spirit um or, or behavior the whole overall point that i want ladies to understand is uh any reference to jezebel is not a positive thing it's nothing positive about it in fact it's it's a disgraceful spirit it's a disgraceful person it's a disgraceful behavior whatever you want to consider the jezebel as um for um you know kiva gardner um like i said it can mean anything to anyone it all just depends on how you reference it and then my uh, and then my um content i'm referencing referencing it as behavior okay so spirit, behavior, person, place, thing, whatever you want to consider it as. But again, I appreciate everybody's different difference in opinion. So I want to get back to um, the Jezebel's downfall. Okay? I talked about the Jezebel curse. I talked about the karma of the D Jezebel. So, you know, I'm, I'm going into different, um, I'm going into different routes, different, um, you know, exits as far as um, pertaining to the Jezebel. So I want to talk about the, the, the downfall of the Jezebel because this is the part that a lot of women do not consider. They do not take in mind when they are involved with the man that is married or is in a relationship. So again, we hear about this all the time. And the truth of the matter is most women who get involved in this type of situation, nothing really good comes out of it for them nothing really good does you know um we see Ariane curry and some of you may not be familiar with her um she's a prime example of a side chicks jezebel harlot um side hole whatever you want to call it appetizer <laughs> um she's one of the few prime examples of the the downfall of a harlot because basically for those of you who are not familiar with the situation there's a show called love and marriage in huntsville and um it's a couple it's a show pertaining to uh like three to four power couples that were in real estate all of these couples are black um so the show has been very popular over the years um has a large fan base and like most reality shows we see we witness a lot of these relationships go from sh you know sugar to shit <laughs> and the truth is a lot of a lot of the times these are relationships or marriages were already in trouble before the camera started filming it's just that the cameras had basically um enhanced all of the problems that was already there so a lot of times people quickly say but it's these reality shows that's causing these marriages to end a breakup when the truth of the matter is is that there was already problems that was manifesting and the cameras just you know went ahead and just put it into full fruition the reality shows once you record and put your life out there it gives everybody an opinion um to to speak against your marriage you know what i mean and not only that whatever skeletons you have in your closet is going to manifest that's why i really suggest if you already have a shaky marriage um, the last thing you definitely want to do is get on a reality show. I don't care how big the check is because whatever problems you have in the background is going to be pushed and magnified all the way to the forefront and everybody's going to see it. So you got to get prepared for that. But, uh, basically there's a particular couple on there, Melody Holt, Holtz and Martel Holt, um, who seem like they have the American dream 
of a couple. They had an American dream. And um, they had everything that a lot of people dream to have. You know, the beautiful house, the beautiful children. Um, they had businesses. They was entrepreneurs. They was on the up and up. Till, of course, Martel had to ruin that. Um, basically over a harlot. Because he supposedly um, tried to use the excuse that he wasn't being satisfied enough. He, he wasn't being pleased enough. Now, I will say this. Um, anytime you deal with a male that has, anytime you deal with a man that lacks discipline, and I meant just what I said, discipline, meaning he does not know how to discipline his dick, he is going to come up with all kinds of excuses anyway on being able to step outside of his marriage. He's going to say, I was not satisfied. Um, you know, I was just really going through it. I was down on my luck at the time. Um, he's not going to take accountability for the fact that he is... Um, disrespecting his marriage or his relationship by um, sleeping around with other women and that's what Martel which I call Motel okay was doing um, he was not just having a fling and I'm going to talk about that uh, I'm going that's gonna be another series where I'm going to talk about a different type of affairs um, all cheating is wrong period point blank I will not condone cheating all cheating is wrong but there's different levels to cheating. And Motel or Martel, he did not just cheat, okay? He had an ongoing affair with Arion for seven years throughout the duration of his, what, 12, 13 year marriage. So this wasn't somebody that, you know, he was just involved with sexually. There was an emotional attachment. And that is even worse when a man has actually gained feelings outside of his marriage. Um, you definitely, I will say this, if you do decide to stay in this type of situation, and I'm not telling no woman she's less than a woman if she stays or goes. Only you as a woman know what you can stand because you got women who do it all the time. They try to make a woman feel less of a woman because she still wants her marriage or she still wants to try to preserve her union. And I don't think a woman is less than a woman if she wants to preserve her union. What makes her less than a woman is when you allow other people to tell you what you should and should not do. At the end of the day, you got to do what makes you happy. You know what I mean? And only you know that man. You know what I mean? From inside out. Everybody, your aunts, your sisters, your cousins, your girlfriends, your sorority sisters, everybody can have an opinion. But um, at the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you. And if leaving is going to give you a peace of mind and you, you'll get better sleep at night and your health is not declining, then hats off to you. I support you either way it go. So anyway, Martel had been having an ongoing relationship with this woman in his marriage. Okay. Uh, and Ariane is younger than him, but, uh, She's not so young to where she does not know what she's doing. And a lot of times, um, mo most of these men, some of these men, they know how to scope out the weakest link. They know how to pick and choose certain women that are easy prey. Easy for them to prey upon, easy for them to take advantage of. So if you are uh, carrying yourself in a manner in which you seem to be thirsty for attention or uh, thirsty for validation um these harsh men these male jezebels they could smell it from a mile away they could smell a vulnerable desperate lonely woman and guess what it does not matter if you got a career because a lot of times women think they can hide behind degrees they think they can hide their loneliness and desperation behind big titles they think they can hide it behind their businesses you can have all of that and still be desperate still be lonely and still um willing to compromise your self-worth just to say you have a man or just say you have somebody and a lot of these guys they know it um because truth be told it's just in a woman's nature we want to be nurtured we want to be desired we want to nurture we want to be cared for um and the truth of the matter is that's the way it has always been designed um uh, from the beginning of time adam was put here first and Eve was brought here second and this is the reason why a lot of women we struggle with loneliness we struggle 
um, with, uh, um, you know, trying to find happiness within um, just being alone, you know, because truth be told, women were not designed to be by themselves. Now, this does not mean run out there tomorrow and pick up your, um, uh, your, your local build a bum ass dude in your area. You know, that does not mean go run out there and pick up a man. But what it does state is, uh, 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 spiritually wise, we were not really designed to be by ourselves. We were not put here first. Man was created to be alone, but not one man. So we were taken from Adam um, as as a as a as a another rib cage and created. We was put here. We was designed to be a helpmate. We was designed to be a companion, a partner. So truth be told, if you really want to go spiritually deep, we're really not supposed to be by ourselves. But because of the way times are and the way that things have changed through over the years, um, women are becoming more and more um, comfortable with being by themselves because there's just too many men that are taking advantage of women that are lonely or women who desire to be in a relationship because you could be you, you could be alone but it doesn't mean you're lonely and you could be lonely but it doesn't mean you're desperate meaning you may be lonely enough to want somebody but not desperate enough to just get anybody but you have a lot of these um these male jezebels who play on the spirit who play on the loneliness of or vulnerability or, or gullibleness of women who really don't know no better you know or women who don't think they can do any better is one or the other so anyway martel was able to to uh scope out the weakest link which was arian curry and he basically chose this chose this woman for his own sexual fulfillment you know and he did not care at all how he jeopardized his marriage with melanie a woman who was giving him the best of everything and see this is this is why i, I i'm speaking in terms of the downfall of the harlot because what happens when these men get exposed when they get exploited and that's what happened with martel he got caught after seven years of dipping in and out in and out of his house in and out of his marriage like anything else, you do something wrong long enough, it's going to catch up with you. Like I stated on my last content, you're not going to be able to cross all your T's and dot all your I's sooner than later. You're going to get caught. And that's what happened. It went on so long, he got so comfortable in which he was able to impregnate Arion and, and give her a child. Okay? And that's what happened. So, um, once his dirty deeds was brought to the forefront, Melanie had her breaking point. And this is not something that just started. This has been prolonging. And a lot of people, you know what, a lot of women, because women, we love to attack other women who make different decisions. I don't know what it is about women we feel like because we've done something different that we are better. Okay, you left your cheating husband and now you got all the answers for every woman who was experiencing her husband cheating. And because you got women who have decided to fight through it and, and get through it, you want to knock or ridicule that woman. You know what I mean? And um, like I said, every woman has to find her own journey because it has been women who have gone through it. But their marriage actually got better. You know, it, it took that man to get exposed or to get embarrassed for him to realize he was not that slick like he thought he was. And he learned his lesson and he realized all of what he could have lost. And he was able to transition and make that turn around. And now they are at a better place. So this does not happen for all women. But for some, if it does not apply, you ain't got to reply, let it fly. You have had some marriages in which they were able to recover because the man had not only just apologized, but his, he also had his actions back up um, his apology. He's no longer running the streets. He's showing that respect to that wife that he knew 
she deserved from the beginning before he even got exposed. He don't be out all time of night. He's picking up his phone. Um, he knows he damaged her trust enough that he has to give her access to her, his phone whenever he wants to check it. Or um, he knows he has to pick up that phone whenever he's at work. He knows he owes it to her to where he basically put the ball in her court. And he got to pretty much comply and do whatever it takes to make her feel safe with him again. And if he has any sense, because you got a lot of women who ain't playing that bullshit. If he has any sense, he will do whatever he has to do to never put himself back in that position. Because there's not too many women that's going to stand for it. Martel, on the other hand, um, was so sure of himself. And you got some men that are like that. They are so sure of themselves. They just so sure their wives ain't going nowhere. They can continue to disrespect, disrespect, hoe around, and, and um, do all type of unethical things outside of marriage and feel like no matter what, my wife is going to be dedicated. And males stood by a lot. And sometimes it pays off when you stand by the bullshit. And in most cases, it doesn't. You know, you have some women you go through the ups and downs. And especially when you start off marrying really young. I tell you, young marriages go through the most bullshit. When you marry during your 20s and stuff, that's where all that cheating, that's where all that usually partakes in these young, premature marriages. Um, because there's a lot of lack of maturity and you're un you're still emotionally underdeveloped. Um, so most marriages that start off very young usually end up having higher chances of adultery um, because, again, there's a lot of immaturity. You know, and uh, until you reach that point of immaturity, you really don't know how to deal with your problems as a husband or as a wife. But, nevertheless, Martel just kept pushing his luck. And like I said, uh, it got to the point to where he got so comfortable he impregnated this other woman. And Mel said, you know what, I'm done. I done put up with your shenanigans for a while. This is it. And we've seen Martel, we've seen him, and this is what makes it so bad. Martel already knew he was doing a lot of dirty shit in his marriage, but instead of humbling himself, because I'm sure he knew the day and the time and the hour was going to come where he was going to get exposed. So instead of him humbling himself and trying to be a better man, uh, being home like he's supposed to, being a good husband, being a good father, because he knew the gig was almost up. So what he should have been doing was humbling himself. So when that time came, it possibly could have gave Mel something to consider, you know. But the thing about it is you got some of these men that are strong and wrong. You already doing all kind of bullshit. But then on top of that, you come home, you talking to me like trash, you abusive, you know, uh, uh, you manipulative, you know. So when the gig does come out. It's going to make me not reconsider anything because I'm going to take into account how you treated me throughout this whole duration. I find out your ass been cheating and holding on me the whole time. You know what I mean? So, uh, she very much made the right decision because uh, Martel was not going to humble himself. And he just kept triggering her um, by constantly throwing up in her face how unsatisfied he was. You know, but she went through years of trying to hold down a broken ass man um, who had been pampered all his life um, being that he's been a mama, mama's boy and we're going to talk about a mama's boy for another dis discussion because I definitely want to get him talking about that and he's just so used to having women cater to his bullshit because it started with his mama so he thought Mel was going to do the same thing you know and she reached her breaking point you know what I mean and that's what tends to happen sometimes as women when you tolerate too much um some of these men they don't humble themselves they just get more and more disrespectful they up the ante up the ante up the ante till where you don't have a choice but to let go so anyway that's what happened uh and, and martel when i say he's been catching hell ever since and this martel is not the only man uh who has paid the price for partaking um with a harlot you know, he's lost everything. Everything Martel has tried since the uh, since the ending of his union with Melanie, it has been an epic fail. Um, you have to realize, um, Mel brought a lot into Martel's life. They was a power team. And um, 
he had got accustomed to that. But he ruined all of that over a piece of ass. And what ended up happening is he's been trying to redeem himself ever since he lost his marriage. He done tried to um, sell his wine. That didn't get anywhere. Uh, he done tried, all type of, tried to get into all type of businesses. Tried to partnership with other people. His reputation is so burnt through, through, throughout Huntsville. Uh, nobody's not really checking for him like that. Everything he has tried. He called himself doing um, this fake love with Sheree Whitfield, which we knew that was we knew that was a, for play play. We knew that was a joke. Um, he done did a front cover magazine that had to be taken off the shelves because a lot of people was pissed with the fact he had the audacity to make it seem like he was the survivor of a, of a marriage that he inflicted damage upon so basically everything but martell has went from sugar to shit and this is what a lot of people don't understand when it comes to marriage i don't care how much we don't take marriage seriously guess what there's a god who sits high who does and his word never stands we could change the word we could change the narratives and make it fit what we want it to fit but god honors marriage he always has and he always will so for those of us on this on this in on this earth who don't feel we need to respect other people's marriage as a side chick we don't need to respect the marriage as a husband as a wife guess what you will have karma to pay you definitely gonna reap what you sow because as i say that god honors marriage and he despises those who do not honor something that he created between a man and a woman that is supposed to be a blessing okay so martell's been losing a lot okay and most men who partake um in adultery they lose they they lose they lose a lot we've seen tiger woods but he got exposed um he lost a lot of endorsements you know and even though you know he's not in the poor house uh this man has never been looked at as the same um several men we got tj holmes the news anchor who just recently got caught up um having a fling you know um with his uh with on his wife and paparazzi i got a hold of it um carmelo anthony also you know he lost his wife lala he did the same thing messing around with some instagram thought and got her pregnant and um after that i will say lala still kind of hung in the picture for a while but only to find out he had to set the twins from another woman and at that point she said you know what <laughs> one time was already bad but you're gonna do a second time oh no so she left so um a lot of these men are paying the price um, for stepping out on their wives, but even more so the harlots that are participating with these married men They are catching the worst end of the stick as well Arion has not Had any good luck since she's been exploited um, Committing adultery with Martell Everything she's tried she's been trying to um mimic male because she's very envious of her and that's what tends to happen um in many cases you have the side chick you know um that act that are very most side chicks are very honor are, are very honorary individuals um they they are very bigoty they have no remorse um for what the other woman goes through and truth be told you know she she really does not have to have any empathy or sympathy but what she does not realize is um she's producing karma because the very thing she puts out there that's that's exactly what she's going to get back and that's what has happened to uh arian arian had no sympathy or empathy or remorse for mel um because she was enjoying um the, the benefits of the dick because that's really all she was getting and the money, which was Mel's money. 
And this is the other thing that side chicks don't understand. They think it be the husbands who have it all, who be running everything, and it's not always case, all, always the case. A lot of times, it's the woman who runs the money. You got more women leading households than men, you know. But if, if you're dumb, um, and if you're dick dumb, you're not going to look at that. You know what I mean? You're not going to look at the fact, well, you know what? His wife may be the one that uh that may be running everything and in many cases it'd be the wife it don't be the husbands that be leading shit like you think they do and Arion find out the hard way because when Mel divorced Martel um Arion them checks stopped because the only way the only reason Motel was able to um keep breaking Arion off with money was because he was married to Mel who was basically the breadwinner of that family okay so, once the breadwinner divorced the one that was dependent on it, it became a domino effect. So, not only did Martel lose his wife, he also lost access to her bank accounts. And once he lost access to the bank accounts, he no longer could keep breaking um, Arion off with, with bread. He couldn't break off anymore. Not like he used to. That BMW she had got repossessed, and all of that. So this is what I, this is where I'm going. This is where I'm going with this is that there's a downfall for the Harlan because she was a willing participant, and it comes a point where yes, we want to blame the men, and we will always blame the men, and the married man, he's never going to get off. He's never going to be set free. He's going to be the main one that was a hundred percent in the wrong but what the harlot does not understand is that now you have also put yourself in that same predicament to where you are just as wrong and you are going to pay a heavy penalty and a heavy price and that's what happened with Arion the appetizer um she's lost everything when Mar when martel lost it all she lost it all as well um, like I said, her car was repossessed. Martel hasn't been able to pay her bills for the condo that she was living in. Um, Martel and Appetizer was living a good life off of mail. But um, what's done in the dark comes out in the light. And God got tired of Martel not respecting what he honors, and that is marriage. Again, God honors marriage. He's not going to let people get away with disrespecting marriage. So, if you don't want the wrath of God, I tell you, don't get married. Okay? Don't get married. Because God is not playing the radio with how we handle these marriages. Because a marriage is supposed to be an anointing. It's supposed to be a spiritual union between a man and a woman. And anytime you let a third party intercede in that, it taints the union. It taints um the, the 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 purity of the marriage and that's exactly what happened so appetizer has been struggling to get on her feet she's been trying to do everything mel does she's been trying to start her own business that's been an epic fail she's been trying to get into modeling that's been an epic fail um every venture she has tried um she hasn't had any progress and she's not understanding this is part of her karma. This comes with, this is the repercussion of getting involved with the married man. And I know a lot of side chicks don't want to believe um, that, they, that they, they're going to be penalized for their actions. They just think it's the married man they've been dealing with that's going to get penalized. And trust and believe, he is and he will. But you damn sure are going to get the back end of it. Okay? It go both ways. And, um, Ap Ap Arion just hasn't had the best of luck, y'all. Um, supposedly, now she wants to leave Huntsville and move back to Ohio because she can't take the heat. You know, too many people know her face. I wouldn't want to be in her predicament. I bet she can't even go to Starbucks and get a cappuccino without somebody like, oh, man, that's the side chick, you know. Um, so she's been very miserable. Um, she's gone live multiple times. Um... Seeking validation, you know, um, looking for attention, 
and um, the attention she's been seeking, um, it hasn't been a very good one. It hasn't planned out very good for her. And this is what a lot of side chicks do. This is where a lot of them get angry and resentful because they cannot phantom, they, they cannot connect the dots. Um, most side chicks are slow, to be honest with you. That is how they easily get involved in these situations anyway because they they have a tunnel vision. They don't look they don't look deep before they leap. Um, most side chicks are slow for the most part. So a lot of them can't comprehend when things start going wrong in their lives. Um, they're not putting the pieces together like, damn, why, why I keep losing shit? Why things keep going left? Every time I plan something that's not going right, you bring a curse upon yourself anytime you get involved with a married man. You do. It, it, it's, it, uh, married men are bad luck. I don't care how good the dick is. I don't care how handsome he is. I don't care how fine, how much money he's giving you. Um, married men are bad luck. They really are. Um, they will bring a curse upon your life that you're nowhere near ready to even deal with, that you're not equipped to deal with. Um, and the truth of the matter is this. Um, unfortunately, most men, for the most part, they could do a lot of damage, but for some strange reason, they always tend to recover easier. Martel is down on his luck, but... He's still keeping afloat. Ariane, on the other hand, she's not even keeping afloat. She, she's drowning, okay? And this is what you have to understand as the side chick. Um, our luck doesn't pan out, you know what I mean, as, as uh, nowhere near as good as the married man does. Married men, for whatever reason, they go through it, but they can recover. Martel is still getting some type of deals. He's still getting some type of you know businesses and stuff like that even though um uh, it hasn't really gone successfully but Ariane hasn't gotten anything nobody would not take her serious nobody wants to do business with her nobody wants to build a partnership and the crazy part is she can't even get a man she cannot even get her own male companion this is a different type of this is one of the downfalls that come with being a harlot when you get involved with somebody else's husband, do you not understand that you block your own blessings? You block your own blessings from getting involved with somebody who can sincerely and genuinely love you. Now, this does not mean that life is over. And if you truly repent and if you really um, um, show remorse for your actions, that God cannot restore everything you have lost. But the truth is, most of these women are very bigoty. They're very cocky. They don't feel they're wrong. So therefore, they don't feel the need to be remorseful or anything. But at some point in time, when you keep losing, losing over and over and over again, it's, it has to register somewhere. This has to be karma. Catch it up with me. Now, now, it's bad enough Arion was dealing with this man for seven years and was very disrespectful. She kept coming for mail. She kept coming for mail kept disrespecting male thanks to martel who allowed her to do that and i have a big i'm you know what i'm a different type of woman i'm gonna be honest with y'all and i may lose my brownie points for this but i lost I already lost respect for 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 um for motel when he cheated on his wife for seven years but what i really lost respect was when he allowed the side chick to continuously disrespect his wife i got a big problem with that you nigga you are already strong and wrong but you gonna sit up here and let your appetizer disrespect me call me out my name martel could have shut that down long time ago but he thought it was cute because he already was angry with the fact he wasn't being able to have his way with mail so he he allowed appetizer to consistently come for his wife and my thing is even if you even though martel's already wrong he still had he still should have been defending his wife regardless of what now all of a sudden they just had to sit down shing ding talk or whatever and he wants to apologize and you know we can't we can only take martel's apology 
with a grain of salt because this nigga is very bipolar. He'll apologize and then turn around and have her in court and try to sue her the following week. But you know what? This is the crazy part. I'm different. I really believe, I'm going to tell y'all something. I, I really believe Martel is sorry. I, I really sincerely, I, I believe he's sincere about his apology. He's sincere about it. But where the nastiness comes from, that, 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 when he tries to take her to court to get her kids and all this and that, that comes from the fact he's more angry with himself than he is with her. He's angry that, damn, I finally pushed my wife to the point where she won't take my bullshit no more. So when he goes on these nasty spins and tries to take her to court or he's shitting back on Mel and talking shit about her again through the blogs, when he, when he does all that, when he goes into that, you know, that, that boy, that boyish mode where he wants to disrespect her after he doesn't apologize to her. All of that comes from he's angry with himself. He's more mad with himself than he is Mel. And this is why um, no woman should want to get involved with a married man. Because when a man realizes that he has really lost something very significant, he takes it out on everybody. He takes it out on you, the side chick. He takes it out on, you know, uh, the wife. He, he takes it out on everybody. He, and, and that's what Martell is doing. It's displaced anger. He's not only, like, shitting on male, his wife, well, his ex-wife now, but he's also shitting on Arion. That, that's, that's how, that's why I don't, getting involved with married men is not worth the um headaches because when these dudes get exploited when they get caught they angry with everybody except who they should be angry with is themselves martel martel is pissed with mel because mel won't take his shit no more and he's mad with Arion because he looking at Arion like you the reason why I lost my marriage. This is how the narcissistic male thinks. The narcissistic male does not think he had a part in the demise of his marriage. It's everybody fault but his. You messed up, you messed up a good thing. We had a good thing going. I was able to, to, to get appetizer and smash her as much as I wanted to. Break off with some bread. Break off with some dick. And then I was still able to go home to my wife and, and, and enjoy the fruits of her labor. By us having all of these businesses and entrepreneurship together. Martel is angry with the both of them. Let me tell y'all something. He's not just angry with Mel. I know that's what we see most of the time. And the only reason he's still dealing with Arion is not because he's so in love with her and care about her, but she has become like the 7-Eleven. She has become very convenient. You know, he can go over there anytime he want when he's feeling down on himself, you know, get some to relieve himself for the moment. And after he's done, he's back to not giving a damn. But the truth is, you know, uh, Martel put itself in a very bad predicament because he made himself get accustomed to needing the both of them. So, the problem was everybody became codependent in this situation except Mel. Because Mel was doing what she was supposed to do as the wife. With, with a side chick, Arion, and the married man, Martel, where they messed up at was they became very codependent on each other. Martel became codependent on appetizer for the blowjob, the sex, whatever she was giving him, and he, she became codependent on him for money. And this is why when the grits hit the fan, the harlot and the Jezebel male um, things for them start going downhill. And that's exactly what happened. Again, because God honors marriage. And he's not going to allow people to disrespect marriage and then not catch up with them. He's going to penalize you for your actions. So, basically, both of them, that, that's, what, that's what married men and side chicks do. They become codependent on, it, on each other. She wants the dollars. He wants the dick. Okay? She wants, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, 
Yeah, he comes codependent on her because that's his sexual fulfillment. And she becomes codependent on him because of the financial dependence. And that's basically what, and that's basically what happened. And, um, after the, the, the demise of the marriage, um, after Mel divorced him, Martel has not been able to catch a break. And a side chick definitely has not been able to catch a break. When these married men get caught, they flee the scene. They run. They, they want no parts of you. Once they have been exploited. It's not fun anymore. Once they've been exploited. It's just not fun. The, the pleasure is gone. Once they've been exposed. It is not the same. And as far as Arion, um Arion is basically. Um, walking around with a scarlet letter. And even though we know that Ariane has not really been genuine, the only genuine thing she has said was not to mess with married men. Now, I know even after she made that statement, she still said a, a lot of disrespectful things about Mel in the midst of that. But just the fact that she admitted it, it lets me know that she sees, even if she didn't mean a shit, but the fact she said it lets me know that she's already feeling the wrath of being with a married man. They have a child together. Beautiful, beautiful boy. I mean, handsome boy. He didn't ask to be here. It's not his fault. And you can just tell um, the, the, the awkwardness. You know, um, they recently, because, you know, I, I am also a fan of Caramel Rail. I watch her channel a lot. Um, she gives a lot of good content, y'all. Check her out, too, y'all. She's really, really good people. Let her know that I sent you there. Be like, hey, Mocha sent me here, blah, 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 blah. You know, we like to let each other know that we be looking out for each other like that. So, anyway, um, she stated that they recently had a dinner. And Martel now, I, he's gotten comfortable with the fact because he knows his marriage. He'll never be able to reconcile, re reconcile that. So he's gotten to a place to now, he's becoming more and more open with his son. Um, he's um, intermixing his children from his marriage with the child that he had um, from the affair. And um, of course the kids, he explained to the kids in his own way how the child got here and he was disrespectful with that because Mel wanted to be there when he told the children about this other child but because Martel has to have control and I believe Martel wanted to um, kind of bend the truth in his own way to his kids about this other child he didn't want Mel there to hear the, the, the his own narrative as to how that child got there so ain't no telling how he worded it but for him to intentionally leave Mel out I'm sure he really did not tell the truth but kids are smart and I'm sure they don't put the pieces together and as they get older they're going to put the pieces together even more but you can just tell uh, you know th this little boy is totally different <laughs> I'm going to say this respectfully he's totally different from the kids he had with his wife. Um, this is another thing that a lot of harlots don't consider. DNA is very significant. And this is why as women we have to be very mindful who we breed children from. Uh, if you're dealing with the man, he's angry all the time, he's narcissistic, don't think for a second that your child is not going to inherit those narcissistic traits. Um, and I want to respectfully say this. I don't like talking about people, children, but that little boy, um, the appetizer junior, um, you could tell he's different. <laughs> he's very different 
um, from the kids he had from the, from his marriage. And I don't like to compare people to children, but um, he's just different. He's he has tantrums. Um, he he's very combative. Um, he screams a lot. He he does not know how to behave in a public place. And you can tell Mel's children are the that he had for Mel was totally different. They're more mild mannered. They're more well spoken. Um, they just have more home training. You can tell they've been raised better. And this other this other little boy on the other hand, he's very uh he's off the chain. He's off the chain. And you have to listen. I'm going to say something deep. The way you bring your children here, Lord, Lord, have mercy. Somebody going to get mad, but I got to testify. I got to testify. The way you bring your children in this life is going to impact their behavior mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And I hate to say it, but this young man, this little child, is going to continue to have consistent problems throughout the duration of his life because of how he was conceived he was conceived immorally during a marriage that was not supposed to take place and women y'all can get mad if you want to every child is not a blessing and I'm going to say it every child ain't a blessing you have, I, I've heard women sit up here and get pregnant from married men and say, my child is still a blessing. No, it's not. Not to say it's the child's fault. Not to say that the child should be mistreated or dragged or dogged out because of how he or she was brought here. But I will say this much. You bring your child a lot of unnecessary toxicness when you conceive them from a married man because as that child gets older and they understand and they can comprehend how they got here it can definitely take a, a mo emotional and psychological toll it, I know I know people who are side children who have been cr created out of an affair and as adults they still struggle with acceptance and, and self-worth to this day now you do have some women that are accepting of the side child because they don't want the child to suffer you know um you have some women who have the grace to accept it but you have more women who don't have the grace to accept it and they don't so that means especially again because these men are cowards once they get exposed and they get caught a lot of times they try to do whatever the wife wants so if the wife says I don't want to have nothing to do with that child he's going to honor that and the side chick is going to get angry with the wife when really um, the wife has a right to say what she wants to do or don't want to do if she don't want to accept your child she ain't got to and I know just saying that is going to rub a lot of you side chicks the wrong way because you feel like the child is innocent. But guess what? The wife was innocent. She didn't deserve it either. And because she's been in the picture way longer. She has rank to say what she will and what she will not accept. Now, at the end of the day, it's between you and him. How that child is going to be taken care of. Now, the thing about being the, being the harlot with the side baby. Um... Your child is going to be deprived out of a lot of things. You know, it, it does not matter how much the child comes around with the other kids. Um, that child will never, ever really get the, the same amount of love that the children are getting that he had from his wife. Um, you can tell Martel is not going to say it. But, I no, I take that back. He did say it. He said he regrets this was his words he said he regrets stepping out on his wife he regrets having an affair on mail that he should have just been patient and just stayed his ass home and just waited for her to get to that place to where she realizes okay i'm not giving my husband enough attention let me 
let me came more into him. Now he said this at his own marriage, even though a week later he ended up trying to take her to court. But I truly, this is the crazy part, I truly believe Martell is sorry. But at the same time, um, he's still an asshole. And that's because he's mad with himself. But I believe he regrets what he's done to his wife because he's lost so much behind him. But the problem is he's not man enough to change his actions. He, he's the things that he's doing and he's doing it out of anger with himself. If, if he wanted mail back, he definitely gave her every reason not to even consider it because of his actions. But you have some men, um, when they can't have their way, they get very childish. And when they get childish, they get evil with the childishness. They doing little dumb shit, taking you to court, trying to pit the kids against you. And all of this is because he knows he caused this. And there's, he's always been able to manipulate his wife. He's always been able to get her to come back. And he knows this time it's over for sure. And he hates himself every day for it. And the more he hates himself, he takes it out on Mel and he takes it out on Arion. But really, he's angry with himself. He's angry he lost his marriage. He's angry that he lost his partner. He did not realize how much that woman meant to him until he lost her. He didn't realize how much he had. And that's what, in, in, in some instances, side chicks make, make men see themselves for who they really are. Now he really sees himself like, I really didn't have to go there. That was so unnecessary. Now, Ariana, on the other hand, she's not going to really believe how much Martell really regrets that he ever got involved with her. Because, again, she's focusing on the dick. Well, he been giving me dick. He been screwing me. He been having sex with me. You have women who equate sex to a man really loving them or really wanting them. When in actuality, um, men learn how to use sex as a coping mechanism. It's not because he's not happy at home. It's not because he's not getting the attention he wants. It's just a selfish ass. Um, it's just straight selfishness. I'm getting everything I want over here, but I still want more of something else. And, and not, now he realizes it that, damn, you know, I had it all. And I can't go back. No, he can't. Because if she was to take him back, which you know Mel won't, it's coming back with a package deal. And hell, nobody can't trust Martell. You've been spending money, thousands on Mel, thousands on um, Arion out of Mel's bank account. No, you want to come back in good because you're tired of struggling. And you cannot give Ariane that lifestyle that you used to give her when you was married to Mel. I believe, like I said, I believe he is remorseful as far as losing his marriage, but not enough to the point that where he's willing to change for it. It's all game. Because he done got used to having both of them. I don't think he will ever get with one and not deal with the other. If he can have it his way, he wants both of them. And with Mel, that's not happening. I don't blame him. Now, Arion's dumb, slow ass, she would have been okay with it. She was okay with him being married, so why would she not be okay with it? So, Mel ruined both of their plans when she divorced Martell because um, the bread shop had closed down. The bread factory closed down. They was getting bread, but Mel had the bread factory. She was the owner of the bread factory. So now, Ariane can't get a slice of bread, and uh, Martel can't get a loaf of bread. It's done. At this point, neither one of them getting no bread. And whatever little bread Martel is getting is not the type of bread that he used to, that he that he had when he was married to Mel. But this is the downfall. This is this, this is the downfall of the Mel Jezebel and the harlot. When you both make the decision to fornicate, commit adultery, not fornicate, because fornicate is when two unmarried people have um, relations. But in this case, adultery, because there was a marriage when this sexual activity took place. Um, you have to, you, you, you wreak havoc. You wreak havoc. 
um, and, and 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 that comes with the territory. I would suggest anybody, if you are involved with a married man, and God has given you the grace to not get pregnant or something more severe coming out of this, I suggest you abort the mission before something happens, and you're going to wish you jumped ship when you did. Um, it's not worth all of the headaches that come with it. Um, a lot of these hearts are paying the price. They got to raise these kids by themselves. Um, cause these married men, they're not reliable. They wasn't reliable when you were really dealing with them. Um, you end up having to raise these children for the most part by yourself. That's the downfall of being a harlot. Um, you end up having to deal with the aftermath of the damage of knowing your child is never really going to be accepted because in some instances some of these side children are not welcomed at all um the married man has nothing to do with the child now right or wrong you know and not saying it's right or wrong or whatever but it was wrong from the beginning when you got involved with them and you pulled your panties down and you left your womb open into giving him the privilege to impregnate you so after that you can you can't expect nothing right to come out of it it amazes me how a lot of these side chicks will place demands um why he never sees his child why he never well why you got pregnant from him in the first place you wouldn't have to put yourself or your child in this predicament ladies whenever you start off something wrong it's gonna end off wrong it's gonna end off wrong bottom line you can't write in it once you don't cross that path and yeah, it's not fair to the child, but you should have thought about that before you got involved with him. And he should have thought about that as well. Both of you were selfish. Both of you did what you wanted to do. And y'all both put yourself at a disadvantage in which neither one of y'all can call the shots at this point. You don't get to dictate, you don't get to decide who should accept your child how they should accept your child and he don't get to decide if his wife wants to accept that child or even accept his cheating ass after the fact you don't you don't pick and choose this is the thing people understand you can do what you want to do all day but you don't get to choose the outcome you don't get to choose the consequences you don't get to choose how karma makes her guest appearance you don't get to choose that you don't get to choose the downfall. You don't get to pick and choose how things come back on you. You got to live with it however it go. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, um, I want to talk about that, uh, the downfall of the harlot uh, and the Jezebel male. Yes, when you put yourself in these situations like that, it's all fun and gun games in the initial beginning. You're sneaking, you're creeping, you're going out of town, you're dining at all of these restaurants. Um, you having all these sex sex capades at adventures at these five star hotels, motels, you know. Um, you're getting it in, it's exciting, and next thing you notice, something happens. Either the husband gets caught, or either um the harlot gets pregnant, something happens, changes the whole dynamics, man loses his marriage, now he no longer has the same desire to be with the side chick like he was without the when in throughout the duration of the marriage or he decide or his wife still decides to stay with him now but the problem is um that child that he had from the side chick will never be welcomed into his life into his home with that wife so it's so many dynamics it can go and worst case scenario people can get hurt side chicks have came after wives and killed wives i mean if you look up the documentary and i'm going to talk about that too of uh, uh, carly huges carly huges could not handle the fact that keon Pittman, um he just didn't want her anymore he had her so much he got tired of the coochie and he left and he wanted to be back with his fiance because he hold around so long he got tired of it and he tried to go back home and, and, and put on his faithful husband hat. Now that he knew this baby was coming on the way, was on the way, Carla couldn't handle that rejection. So she went after his fiance and murked her.
because you know you can, YouTube is very sensitive. She took that woman out who was like seven, eight months pregnant with his first child, and he had to live with that. So either the side chick gonna lose it, or either the wife might lose it and come after the side chick. Or we've seen many instances in which a side chick has threatened to tell a man, his man's wife, everything. So he lost it and took the side chick out. So it's a thousand ways this could play out. Um, but one thing we do know, it is never good. Just don't get involved with anybody that's married. Get your own companion so y'all can build a life freely. And you don't have all this baggage. You don't have all of this drama on your shoulders. So anyway, y'all, leave y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think about this, the downfall of the Jezebel male and the harlot. Um, again, I appreciate all of y'all for subscribing. Anybody who would like to donate, dollar sign, D-Y-M-O-N-D-G-Y-R-L. Also, I do sell cable. Cable, 9,000 channels, only $20 a month. If you got a fire stick, over 25 megabytes per second in internet speed, I can connect your cable today. Stop giving these cable providers a hundred dollars a month or more i'm sure you probably paying way more for your cable or satellite dish also i do sell tumblers um 25 a cup i customize them put photos put names everything on them check my community tab you will see my different tumbler designs from southern chick creations that is my small business that um i also do outside of youtube so anybody wants to um, check out what I have over there and make sure you do. So anyway, it is your girl, your diva and knowledge, Lady Mocha, represent Mocha's Ladies Lounge. I'm going to always pour you a cup of truth and break you off with a slice of knowledge. Y'all be blessed, ladies. Take care.